Yeah, back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. If not, welcome back, y'all. Welcome to day seven of Vlogtober. We are just moving along here with these story times. I hope you guys are enjoying them as much as I am, honestly. So as you can see today, I am Diano, Diano. The hairstyle is different, so y'all might not know, but I'm sure y'all can just because of the outfit. I am Wilma from the Flintstone, the wife of Fred. You know what I'm saying? So, yep, I am Wilma off the Flintstone. I will be Wilma for the next three story times. All right, guys, this is the outfit or the costume. And that's just what it is. All right, guys, <laughs> make sure you guys are like, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Also, be sure to hit that post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. I'll be posting every day for the month of October, so you do not want to miss out on a story time as I am doing a month full of story times for you guys. I'm not exactly sure what I titled this story yet, but as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about how my sister was basically a bully she was my bully there there we go so <laughs> and y'all it's so crazy so and yesterday's story time if you haven't seen yesterday's story time you might want to watch that first because then you'll see why i guess she was kind of a bully so in yesterday's story time i talked about how i had met my father for the first time and all of my siblings from my father and how I had a sister who is actually the same age as me, but we were three months apart. What they call that? H hood twins? Is that what they call it? I think they call it hood twins. <laughs> we was hood twins, y'all. There. So I had met my, you know, sisters for the first time. And like I said, it didn't really go well. She wasn't really too happy to see me, um, to know that I even existed. She <laughs> was upset that she was not the oldest anymore. Like I said, we're three months apart, three months apart, but I am three months older than her. So she wasn't very happy to know that. Moving forward, my dad, well, okay. So moving forward, that was the summertime. I told you guys how that was in the summertime and my sisters were over. I had went over to visit my dad and he introduced me all to my siblings, right? So my sisters, it turns out they didn't live in Pittsburgh. So my my father, he he has three baby mamas. <laughs> so my mom was his first child's mother. And then my hood twin, <laughs> it's like, let me give her a name, y'all. We're going to call my hood twin. We won't call her star just because she sang and she's going to be a star one day, guys. So <laughs> um, I'm going to call her star. And then... Uh, my hood twin's mother or star's mother also had another daughter which is also my sister and we're gonna call her diamond i don't know star and diamond y'all so star and diamond are my sisters from another um mother and then the two babies remember i said my dad's girlfriend at the time was pregnant with a baby and then it was another little baby boy running around yeah those are my dad's youngest two kids by his um the third mother so, of course, my dad's kids with the second mother, Star and Diamond, she or they, we are all close in age, obviously. Star is literally the same age as me. And then Diamond is actually the same age as my sister, Lexi. By now, if y'all don't know who Lexi is, my sister, my mom's side, if y'all don't know who Lexi is, y'all just ain't watching my story times. Like, y'all ain't watching my vlogs, nothing. Everybody should know who Lexi is at this point. So, anyway... Lexi is the same age as Diamond, my other sister Diamond. Cool. So I mentioned Lexi because Lexi is actually in the story time, y'all. <laughs> She's in the story time. I actually had to call her to see what she remembered about this story. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to tell you guys as much as I remember just because the situation that happened was so... It was so traumatizing to me that when things that are traumatizing happen in your life, you tend to suppress those memories and just try to forget that they exist. And that's pretty much what I did for the most part. Like I still remember bits and pieces of what happened. I'm about to tell you a story. 
of what I remember. But just know that for a lot of it, I had suppressed a lot of these memories because I I just couldn't believe how bad I was getting bullied by my own sister, okay? And, and mind you guys, my sisters, Diamond and um, Star, it was mainly Star, Diamond, like I said, she was a little younger. She, she don't really care. She is already a little sister. But Star is the one who had like a major problem with me. And it just sucked because we didn't really have that time to get to know each other because they had lived in another state. They did not live in Pittsburgh. They, I think they did when they were younger, but they had moved to Ohio at like a young age. And although we are neighboring states, we had no way of really getting to know each other unless they had came over to my father's house for the summer until they actually eventually moved to Pittsburgh. And we did end up, you know, having more of a relationship and we got very close. Um, I will say now in our adult age, of course we love each other. We don't talk every day like me and Lexi do. But um, when we talk, we talk for hours. And she actually moved across the country at this point. So it was really hard to see her. Both my sisters, they both moved out of state. So anyway, just so you know, um, if either of, if my sisters watch this, I love y'all so much. Y'all already know about the situation. We laugh about it all the time um, after we had talked about it and got through it. But just know that at the time, it was very traumatizing for me and wow <laughs> wow all right so i have to put that in there just so you guys know in case there's not a lot of details it's because I, I buried a lot of those details deep inside that i can't i can't really bring back up but yeah so let's just get into it star and diamond they live in ohio my mom and dad and their mother thought it would be a good idea if Lexi and I came to Ohio for Star's birthday party. She was having, I think we were turning, I don't even know how old we were turning, y'all. We were young. We had to be turning, she had to be turning like 11, 12, something like that. We were young. So once everybody decided that we should go to the birthday party, because mind you, at this point, I still don't really know Star that well. We had met, met maybe a, a few times before, but with her living out of state, we had no time to really talk to each other, I guess, you know? I don't know. Like I said, we weren't close. We barely knew each other, but I could tell our parents were trying to get us to have a relationship at the end of the day. Cool, I respect it. Yeah, late with it, but I respect it. So I remember her mother, Star and Diamond's mother, drove to Pittsburgh and came and picked me and Lexi up. And she actually drove us to Ohio. She did, she drove us to Ohio. Y'all, I, I don't know how all the details transpired, um, how exactly the conversation went about how we were gonna go and all that. All I know is her mother came, picked me and my sister up and we were in the car with <laughs> Diamond and Star's mom to Ohio. So of course we got there um, early and we had to help set up and everything. Now she was having this hotel party. Mind you, this is Star that's having a party. Star is my hood twin. Star is the same one, you know, who got the same birthday as me, not the same birthday, um, that is the same age as me. So let's, I'm gonna just call her my hood twin. So y'all know what I'm talking about when I say it. All right, so <laughs> we're at the hotel. She's having a hotel party, but it's it was actually different. I've never seen anything like this before. I don't even know if it's technically a hotel. No, it had to be a hotel. But it was like before we had, before there was Airbnb. But so the hotel... I don't want to call it a hotel, but I don't want to call it a motel. It was weird because it was nice. It was real big and spacious, y'all. Like you go in there and there's like a little living room, a kitchen, like a couch. You know, it's like a big suite. But then there was stairs. Like you go up the stairs. <laughs> what was that? You go up the stairs and there's like a bedroom up there and like a bathroom. It was real big and spacious. Like it was two floors. 
is that considered a hotel or a motel or a suite? I don't know what it was, but it was something they rented out, like an Airbnb, but it, there was no Airbnb then. But it was kind of like that. But it was real nice. And she was having a party there. And um, I remember there was a good amount of girls at this party. But I remember we had went there early. We were helped setting up, helped decorating. Um, me and my sister, we were very shy. We were shy girls. I'm not going to lie. We were <laughs> very nice, very shy girls. And we don't know anybody. Literally, we only have each other. Thank God Lexi came with me. We only had each other. And although this is my family, these are my sisters, my blood sisters, I don't know them. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, I'm, I'm here to get to know you. I'm here for you. And when I tell you my sister, or sorry, I got to be specific, Star, my hood twin, she was very rude the whole time. She would give me just the stankest face the eye rolls, the, mm, the all that. And she never, it was so crazy because she would never act this way around her mom, of course. But whenever her mother was not around, it was just the, mm, mm, ew, like the little smart remarks under her breath and all that. And Lexi would just be like, what the heck? And I'm just like, girl, I don't know. I'm like just trying to ignore it. So of course we're here. We're, we're helping setting up and girls start to come, you know, people start to come to the party, you know, as soon as we're like, we're done setting up or whatever. So I just remember there was like music playing. Like I said, there's two floors. So Lexi and I were kind of just chilling, walking around downstairs and Star is there with her older cousin. Now, diamond she's also there and i believe she also had a friend there and they were just kind of off doing her own thing the way um diamond is she was always kind of like how do i describe her kind of, like she's real cool um i know she loves to dance she is just like real i don't want to say she's mean i wouldn't i don't want to say she's mean but she's real just like I feel like she's kind of strong-willed like she and she's real like bougie with it but humble i don't know am i explaining her right i used to always think she had like this sort of attitude to her but it was just her personality i don't know but like i said she wasn't really bothering lexi or i nothing she was just kind of off with her friend and then you have star who had her big cousin there we're gonna call her big cousin we just gonna call her Bertha. I don't know. It's just the first thing that comes to my mind. But and but she was she wasn't like real big or nothing, y'all. She wasn't ugly or nothing. She honestly, it's kind of hard. Like you you know when you have like a um, pretty girl, so she wasn't like super like oh my god, she's so beautiful. She was regular, but you know when you look attractive, but you, you just got that nasty ass stink attitude, and it just makes you look so ugly. So she was ugly to me, ugly ass Bertha. Sorry, uh, Star, but your cousin was mean and you was following on right behind her. So y'all both being mean. But anyway, so yeah, I'm noticing Bertha and Star is basically upstairs. Because the way the upstairs was, like there's stairs. And then when you go upstairs, like there's a big room in there and then there was a bathroom. But with that big room, it wasn't like a whole wall blocking it off. It was like a... I guess you could say like a balcony, like, excuse me, y'all, because you could see, you know, over the balcony, basically inside, like it wasn't a whole wall. So you go up the stairs, you can look over and see the downstairs. And I would just notice that Bertha and Star is just up over looking, looking over the balcony, looking at me and Lexi and just talking, talking, just talking shit, y'all talking so much shit and I just really I really could not understand why they was talking so much shit and I remember they would be like um like during the party like once everybody came and I guess we was trying to play certain games and stuff and they would be basically leaving us out and Bertha would be like okay well um star is her birthday come up here and then she would be like oh no like y'all too y'all can't come up here 
talking to me and Lexi. And we would be like, what are you talking about? And then Star would be like, yeah, y'all can't come up here. Like, just follow him behind Bertha. And that's just like, Star, like, I'm your sister and you're being weird towards me. When I tell y'all, I wish I could remember all of the details about what was said, but I, I suppressed those memories because when I tell you, it hurt. It hurt so bad. <laughs> it did. It really did. Especially since I was such a sweet, nice, kind, gentle soul, y'all. Like, it just, damn, like you're really being so mean to me and I can't even be like mom come pick us up because we're hours away from home and the only person we have is your mother mind y'all her mother was not there the entire party she literally just dropped us off there left us there with Bertha because Bertha she was the oldest one there so when I tell you the rest of us okay so it was Star and I um, like I said, Star, we had to be turning, literally, she had to be turning 11 or 12. We had to be 11 or 12. And um, Bertha was the oldest one there. And Bertha is Star and Diamond's cousin. Bertha had to be 15, 16 years old. So the fact that she, and then it's crazy because she just was so like, loud and aggressive and low-key i felt like she wanted to fight like i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna hold you i felt like she wanted to fight me for star although i did i literally did nothing wrong but be born y'all i swear to god i did nothing wrong but be bo be born i was nice to this girl all of it i mean it was so crazy i couldn't understand it so we're you know we're there basically they're telling us uh we me and lexi can't come upstairs which we eventually do go upstairs because first of all that's where that's where the bathroom is so you're not about to block stuff in the bathroom and yeah the whole day was just where we're being left out uh we were just being talked about to the point where e even like the other girls that were there weren't saying anything uh to us or sticking up for us which i didn't really expect for anybody to stick up for us but it's just like this is just crazy and then you could just it's just so plain as day everybody can tell that we are being picked on we are being bullied and um i didn't remember this part but lexi did tell me like at one point i was crying of course i don't remember crying because like i told you I, it was so it just hurt so bad like y'all when I tell you I suppressed my feelings and memories of this situation I suppressed it it was that bad it was so bad and I, I just never like come on now I've been bullied before in school like harmless I don't want to say harmless bullying because all bullying is bad but you know like, like the little ignorant kid in school that you be bullied and you just be like whatever little Joe like get out of here but this, for it to be my own sister bullying the hell out of me with this 16-year-old girl backing her and they're talking so much shit and they're really in our faces talking bad. Like, it's crazy, y'all. And I'm just like, damn, like, we're not leaving till Sunday. <laughs> y'all, it was terrible. It was so terrible. So nighttime finally comes. Like, not nighttime, but bedtime finally comes and everybody was you know getting trying to figure out where we were sleeping at so a lot of the girls left because it was a sleepover but a lot of the girls wasn't spending the night because although it was like two floors there was only so many places to sleep so of course there was this huge like king bed upstairs um downstairs there was like two couches and then I think there was also like a roll bed or like a air mattress or something. I don't fully remember, but I just remember I was trying to figure out sleeping arrangements and <laughs> Martha and Star were like, I'm sleeping up here and, and nobody else can come up here, which is crazy because it was a lot more room to be upstairs than like everybody else be downstairs. You know what I'm saying? So they was being super ignorant about that. And I even remember... Um, Diamond and Star and Bertha all kind of getting into it because Diamond was like, oh, well, where am I sleeping? Which Diamond is my other sister. Where are we? Where are we sleeping? Da, da, da. And then, of course, we're like, figure it out. Sleep on the floor. Ha, 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 ha. Like, here, here goes some sheets. Like, it was just so annoying. So, of course, 
I remember me and my sister, I think we just ended up like sharing a couch or something. We were so uncomfortable. I don't, honestly, I don't even really remember sleeping because these girls were just ignorant. And then, you know, at that at that point, like when I sleep over, you got to be careful even going to sleep because that's when they start messing with you in your sleep. You know what I'm saying? They start putting chin your hair and on your face and whatnot. And so it's just like, you ain't even really want to go to sleep for real. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm just like, oh yeah, y'all not going to get me. Y'all not going to bully me and then try to get me while I'm asleep heck no so i just remember like oh my god i cannot wait to just go to sleep so i can wake up and we can leave to go back home because this is just insane insane so i remember we ended up waking up the next day and like i said my sister said i was crying lexi said that i was crying and all that extra stuff which i believe it like i'm not gonna hold y'all i was a super emotional person honestly i still am a super emotional person like I cry over everything, like swear. Like you'll probably never see me cry, but I might be like, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll probably be in the bathroom crying, y'all. Like I, I'm crying over everything, swear. So I, although I don't remember crying, I probably was crying, y'all. Like I'm not even gonna hold you. I probably was bawling my eyes out. Like he hate me. Like why don't my sisters love me? Like why did I? Why don't they like me? Why did they have their cousin here bullying me? Why did this? Why did that? Like. I just could not understand, y'all. I could not understand just because yeah, how I grew up, we're all so full of love. We're so full of love. So I just could not understand all this hate. You know what I'm saying? So the morning time finally comes. And of course, now we're just, uh, Lexi and I are just sitting there. We're, uh, obviously the mom, their mom isn't here. So we can't do that until their mom comes. But we was waiting for her to come because she was bringing us breakfast. I don't know, I think it was like donuts or something because we didn't have no breakfast and we was hungry. Like, what, what we finna eat? So she had came, I think she had brought donuts and whatnot. And, you know, we're, we're over here like, you know, when is she, when is she about to take us home? Like, come on now. So I remember she took forever to come in the morning because um, Star was calling her like, mom, where you at? Diamond's like, yeah, mom, where you at? You know, and everybody else's, you know, packing up their stuff, leaving, ready for their parents to come pick them up. And of course, Lexi and I are just sitting there chilling, talking amongst each other because their mom has to drive us back to Pittsburgh. Like we need to go home, we need to get the hell out of here. This is not a safe environment for us to be in. It's just not a safe environment. So of course, after however long, it seems like forever, their mom finally comes back. She finally comes back after forever because I, I was so mad she did not stay i was so upset y'all i wish she would have stayed i really do and just you know mandated the whole party but whatever and yeah so it was just like she came and of course she came in all sluggish and tired like what are y'all doing in here and we're just looking at her and then i'm looking and i'm looking and she comes in with this fucking big ass hickey on her fucking neck. And me and Lexi are just looking like, can we just go? Like, are you ready to get on the road? Like, are you cool to get on the road? She just came with this big ass hickey on her neck. So at this point, y'all, I'm mad as fuck. I am mad as fuck because while you was having a good time with whatever nigga you was with getting your neck sucked on, my sister and I, really me, was getting bullied by your mean ass daughter. Just, oh, y'all, just the worst treatment ever to the point where I felt like this was a setup. I felt like this was a setup with her. My Everybody's in cahoots. Everybody. Oh, I was pissed. I was so pissed. So after I'm looking at that, I'm just like... Can we go? Like, this is too much. So I just see America coming. She brought the donuts. We eat in. I guess they're talking to her. And then she's finally, she's finally like, oh, did y'all have a good time? Of course, we're not going to be like, no, they was bullying us. Of course, we're not going to be like that. I don't know why, but why? I don't know. It's just it's something you just got to deal with on your own, I guess. I guess that's the thought process I was having. I really don't know. But we're just like, yeah, we had a good time. That was it. That's all we had to say. Like, that's all we said. She's like, oh, good. All right, well, we're going to be leaving here in a minute. 
And we're like, all right, cool. Because we was we was already ready. We just had to grab our little boot bag and we was ready to go. So we did end up leaving. I didn't even give my sisters a hug or nothing. Like, I'm just like, not that she even wanted to give me a hug. Because I'm pretty sure she didn't. But, yeah, we just was just like, all right. And we left. And then we're in the car going back home. And, y'all, I'm telling you, it just seemed like the longest car ride ever. The longest car ride ever. I can't remember if we went home and told my mom. I'm pretty sure we did. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm pretty sure we told her. But, y'all, after that, like, I did not talk to my sister for the longest time. I mean, probably years for real. We eventually did exchange uh, phone numbers and started, like, texting here and there. But I think that was after they had, like, came back into town and we all hung out again. And, oh, man, the shit was just so crazy because, you know, the first time we actually talked about it again at the birthday party, she was telling me, like, yeah, I don't know why I was being such a mean girl. Like, that was really Bertha, and I was following her lead, but she knew how I felt about you and how I didn't like that you were the older sister and how I wasn't the older sister anymore, and I just really didn't like you. And then you had brought your little sister with you, like, yeah, no, we was not about to be nice to y'all. Like we was about, to, we was just being mean. Like that's just how we was. But I just don't know why we was doing all that. You know, it wasn't that serious. But y'all, I'm just like, this is insane. This girl is crazy. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm just like, I guess I understand you being the. I, I don't know about y'all, but I've always wanted to have an older sibling. I always did. I always wanted to have an older sibling. And the craziest thing, y'all, is she wasn't even the oldest sibling. Her mom had a son who was probably at that time um, Bertha's age, but he had passed away. He had passed away. Oh, <gasps> y'all, that's what happened. So... I think that, yeah, that's what happened. So we went to her birthday party and I think it was like that day or maybe a couple days later, but she had found out that her brother passed away. It was so crazy, y'all. It was insane. If I'm remembering that correctly, but her older brother had passed away. So it was just like, that was a very sad time. We actually, we actually came back up. My mom, Lexi and I came back up for the funeral. That was really sad. But um, it was just so crazy because it's just like you were never even the oldest. But I guess she meant the oldest on our dad's side. So I guess I can understand how you being upset. But you already know how it is not being the oldest. So I didn't know what was going on there. It's like weird. But yeah, y'all, that was just so crazy. Um, I wish I had more details for y'all about that party. But like I said, I, I suppress a lot of feelings. But I just remember being bullied so bad, getting like the worst treatment. And my little sister, my little Lexi had to sit there and watch me cry. <laughs> so sad. But like I said, we ended up getting really close. She ended up moving to Pittsburgh and I was over there like all the time, like every weekend. In the summertime, I would stay there for like weeks at a time. And we ended up getting really really close y'all we really did um i so enjoy her company i can't wait until i actually see her again i, I need to call her for real, for real i need to call her i should have called her before i make this story time just to see what she remembered but i don't know you know we'd be busy she'd be busy she got her own stuff going on but yeah i really do need to call her but yeah y'all that's pretty much it for this story time make sure you like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next story time bye y'all